This might well be Senator Hanson's greatest sellout yet. There's a long line of them, whether it be penalty rates being cut, whether it be supporting cuts to schools and hospital funding and pensions, but this one supporting cuts of GST funding of $1.2 billion per year to Queensland may well be Senator Hanson's greatest sellout yet. It's about as big a sellout as you can get in Queensland. I don't think it could even be a bigger sellout if, King Wally, if the King Wally Lewis actually put on a blue New South Wales jersey. That's how bad this is. Uh, she is turning her backs on Queenslanders yet again. Now, I, for one, am sick of hearing Senator Hanson say one thing when she's travelling around Queensland, saying that she's sticking up for battlers, that she's down here in Canberra fighting for Queenslanders. But every time she comes down to here, she lines up with the Liberals to vote for cuts uh, to the things that battlers need right throughout Queensland. And here she is again, she and her colleagues, calling for Queensland to lose $1.2 billion a year in GST funding. Now, I think it's important that Senator Hanson finally come out today and express a position on this bill. Does she actually support what her colleague is saying in moving towards a per capita system of distributing GST, or is she actually prepared to do her job as a senator for Queensland and to fight for the benefit of Queensland, to fight for the extra $1.2 billion a year in GST funding that her colleague wants to, to, uh, to take off Queenslanders. The time for hiding is over, Senator Hanson. Come and state what your position is. Do you support changes to the GST system which would rip off Queenslanders or not?